Hello, it's Mike Les, and I am at Convoy Dairy near Convoy, Ohio. Convoy, Ohio is a little village in Van Wert County, Ohio, and this farm is located just a couple miles from the Indiana state line near Fort Wayne, Indiana. The dairy farm you see here was formerly Blue Stream Dairy, but it was recently purchased by Lamb Farms out of New York State, and the name has changed to Convoy Dairy. It's mid-September 2017, and this video is going to show the corn silage harvest at this farm. In this video, I'm going to have various aerial and on-the-ground shots of the corn silage being harvested in the fields, hauled into the farm, and pushed and packed onto the silage piles. There is a lot of people and crews involved in getting this corn silage harvested, but the chopping is being done by Hall Egg Services out of Sydney, Ohio, and they are out here with their Kloss 984-inch harvester with a 12-row corn head. I was out here to shoot video three different days, so you're going to see some progress on the silage piles, as well as the silage being harvested in different fields. There were several trucking companies that worked together with Hall Egg Services as they chopped the corn silage to haul it from the field back to the farm. And at one point, they were chopping in a field 22 miles away that was hail damaged. And there was a total of 14 semis running back and forth to keep up with the chopper. The state of Ohio has around 3,000 total dairy farms and ranks 11 in milk production. There is approximately 268,000 milk cows in the state of Ohio. Every load of silage was weighed across the scales here as it come in from the field on the semi. Hall Ag Services chopped approximately 28,000 ton of corn silage this year. Custom silage harvesters vary in how they charge for their work. Uh, some charge by the tons chopped and others charge by the acre. Alright, now some aerial footage from the field. So Hall Ag Services is out here with their Kloss 984 inch harvester, which is the biggest of the Kloss machines. This machine has a head on it that is capable of taking in 12 30 inch rows of corn. And this is powered by a V12 diesel engine. Uh, engine manufacturer is MAN, and this thing is putting out about 884 horsepower. Most cloth choppers are green and white, but you will notice this one is gray in color. There is no green except on the head. This is a custom paint job. Uh, it is not done by cloth. You cannot order them this way. This has to be done after the fact. So this one, as you'll see as it gets closer here, it looks a little different, but uh, definitely neat and something you don't see every day. The field you're seeing here is the first field they started chopping in, and this is just southeast of the farm, just a few miles.
back at the farm here on the silage pile, this is just the start of the first pile of silage. And this is day number two as they get started here. And on the silage pile is a John Deere 9320 four-wheel drive tractor with a front end blade and a John Deere 6175R tractor with a front blade. And there is also this John Deere 8220 tractor pulling a sheep's foot roller around the silage pile. Although the sheep's foot rollers are commonly used in construction sites for packing gravel and whatnot, seeing more and more of these on the silage pile doing just what you see here. Throughout the rest of this video there will be different uh, times where you'll see the silage pile as it grows, both from the air and on the ground. And the field they are chopping here is down by Rockford, Ohio, so it was over 20 miles from the farm. Uh, this field had hail damage uh, about a month before the video was taken right here, before they're chopping it. And it was sold off as corn silage. So there was 14 trucks running today just to uh, keep up uh, since there was quite a bit of distance between the farm and the field. <laughs>
Okay, the rest of the video you're going to see here now was taken about two weekends after some of the previous video you've seen. And they are chopping right behind the silage piles right now. And they had uh, chopped all the corn that was mature and then they had to wait a little bit and some rain delays whatnot. This field right here is uh, the result of too much rain. As you know, some areas in Ohio and Indiana had just uh, way too much water this spring and it hurt some of the corn. And this field is definitely one of them that's been hurt by that. You'll see that path right there, kind of catty corner across the cornfield. Uh, there's a crew in here pumping the manure pits now, so they're doing manure application. So there was uh, a row cut right through the cornfield so they could uh, run their drag line and uh, hoses out to that. And as you can see, the first silage pile that was earlier in the video, that's all been covered now. They're working on uh, two other ones, and one here still in the bunk they're working on. And then you can see this new pile they started right here. Also, there's another tractor that has joined the crew. Uh, the New Holland you see there, T8 New Holland, that's owned by uh, Wartenberger Farms out of Richmond, Indiana. And I have done several videos of his chopping operation. And they needed another tractor up here to help keep up with the pushing and packing. So he's up here doing that.
And that is going to wrap up the 2017 corn silage video from Convoy Dairy in Convoy, Ohio. Thanks everybody who took the time to watch this and stay tuned for many more farming videos from Mike Les's YouTube channel.